What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Shout out to the Kofi gang for being here, being involved and being active. We are going to check out this is BTS intro on the Excelesti. Excelest um channel. Shout out to shout out to um this channel. Excelest. I, I hope I got the name right. So we're gonna check out this is BTS introdu introduction to BTS, which you guys have recommended most of the time. That is the best intro to understanding and really knowing their background and who they are right now okay so we've already checked out an introduction to bts but that was also recommended right by by um one of the bts army fans fan one of you guys in the bts army <laughs> anyway how do i even put it um someone from the bts army shout out to you guys and um we watched that as well but a lot of you were like no this one is much better so i'm like why not let's just check it out because i'm still learning right so it's going to be very good for me to to learn as much as i can from them i'm not going to get everything obviously it's not possible but i'll do my best to try anyway shout out to you guys like comment share subscribe if you have any other recommendations let me know in the comment sections below or slide in my dms on instagram which is where i'm most active i'm also active on twitter every now and then um follow me on twitch as well let's go the army bombs how many of you have heard of bts Oh, James Ford, Emmy Award writer and reporter. Okay. Who is BTS and why are they so popular? BTS is a seven cool. member group from South Korea. While the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, that is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you? About 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s. Take a closer look at wow. this age and gender demographic for BTS's 2020 Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females oh. ages 25 and up made 46% of web traffic, and 31% were males. BTS's fans named ARMY will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band and why to get a better mm -hmm. understanding let us go back to the beginning All bts right. was created by big hit entertainment whose mission statement is music and artist for healing the company okay. and namely their ceo bang shi hyuk wanted bts to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with okay not immaculate okay. idols groomed amid studio culture but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world do you think that might be some form that that might add to the reason why because when you go you guys mix um shout out to the bts army you guys say especially when they they don't win a grammy award you guys talk about how you know they are there, there is so much prejudice prejudice against them but then if you think about it if you if you look at hollywood right in the united states or hollywood as i call them there is a lot of hypocrisy and a, a lot of acting in terms of their personality and everything right in, on their part so when you see such genuine spirit come towards them and they are genuine they don't have anything on anyone they don't have any dark secrets i mean i don't know we i hope not but you know they don't see them to have anything they don't have anything on them to 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 to, to, to kind of add them to the cool group to say oh bts you are in the cool group they love them but they they can't really add them to the cool group because hollywood themselves they are such hypocrites in terms of the way they behave so when they see genuine love or genuine behavior or authenticity right it kind of repels them away from them because then they can't they can't really add them to the cool because once you get a grammy and all of that then you're kind of at being part of the hollywood cool groups and everything but then it's like there's so much darkness in the hollywood crew that and the, the light that you know bantang sonya dan has is not compatible with that so do you guys think that that might be i'm just a conspiracy theorist i'm just this is just a conspiracy do you guys think that that might be the reason why maybe you guys would think that they, there's so much you know prejudice against them and they, they push them away or they they rig the system for them i i wouldn't I, I wouldn't think that's not true i think that there might be some substance to that because if someone is authentic you will definitely not grow in an environment that does not reward authenticity that's true which is why bts stands for bang tan son yon dan bang tan son yon dan for bulletproof boy scouts yeah bang tan meaning to be resistant to bullets so it also it's 
pang, not bang. So, so B is P, pang, pang tang so Means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets to preserve mm. the value and ideals of today's adolescents. In 2017, BTS rebranded mm. their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door inspired oh, symbolizes youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve growth. BTS debuted on June 12, 2013. All right, I'm going to name them now. I'm not even a Christian, but hey, here we go. All right, so starting from the middle, we have RM, we have J-Hope, we have... <laughs> Hey, don't laugh at me here. We have Jimin. See, I got it. Jimin. We have V. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right, all right, all right. RM, J Hope, Jimin. I'll come back to the last person later. We have V. Right. Sugar. JK. And then Jin. Let me know if I got it right. With seven members. RM, Let me know if I got it right. Jin. Sugar, yes. J Hope, yes. Jimin, yes. V, yes. and Jungkook. <laughs> I nailed it. I told. Hey, I won. I won. Where's my vi Where's my victory lap? I need a victory lap. Where is it? Where is my victory lap? I need a victory lap. Where's my victory lap? I know. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. I will receive my award. All right. Let me receive my award. I would like to. Show my appreciation for the Bangtan Sonya Dang Army fans for this award for knowing all the names of the BTS Army without um, making it a mistake or trying to make a mistake by pausing and, and correcting it. You know, and anyway, yes, I appreciate you. Now I'm going to slap Chris Rock. All right, <laughs> let's go. I'll try not to pause a lot. All seven members came from different parts of Korea. So at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their CEO, Bang Shi Hyo, created a method for the wow. boys whenever they got into an argument. Mm. Conflicts grow because we are afraid of fighting. Wow. <laughs> He makes me want to learn Korean. The way he's speaking, the like, the way he's speaking, just it's just so smooth and. I'm like, I want to learn that now. Over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities, to the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They oh. became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. <laughs> Their climb to the top okay. may seem talking about that. Is there are there any videos of BTS that has only six of them or someone missing? Right? Is there anything like that? Has that has it ever happened? Because I know I used to. Well, not that I used to. I still do. I still um stand ats right and sometimes there, there were there were times where one of them were missing right, but then they were still able to perform. Are there moments? For Bantan Soyeon when there was someone missing and they still performed live or they did something. If there is, let me know. I would like to see it. Sudden to those who didn't follow their journey, but it was far from a walk in the park. 
BTS's company, Big Hit Entertainment, started off small and faced numerous hardships, even coming close to bankruptcy. Oh, wow. Since Big Hit wasn't a large company at that time, they lacked the resources for promoting BTS. Even getting the chance to debut was a fluke. Their debut performance opportunity came about because a music show needed a filler for someone else's spot. Even、What? after they debuted, their performances would often get cut. And if they did make it on air, their screen time was very short since Big Hit didn't have the power or influence bigger companies had over broadcasts. Look at them! Since、oh、they my were、days. often not invited to a lot of big variety shows, the company found their own way to communicate、wow. with their audience through platforms such as YouTube. By vlogging their journey, they allowed us to discover their personalities. They also create. You know what? Shout out to YouTube, man. I mean, I mean, with all the issues that YouTube gives, you know, gives me, right? But I do understand why I have those issues. But shout out to YouTube, man. YouTube has saved lives in terms of creators being able to reach out to audiences and con- connect to them. You know what? Like, like seriously, it's it's a fun platform when 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 you are a creator, right? It's not it's not really fun, but nevertheless, they've they've really given opportunities that otherwise. You wouldn't have in any world. Why? So shout out to YouTube. They did their own variety shows and often live streamed with fans. They honed their crafts for hours on end, practicing in the dance studio and producing music, returning home at dawn to all sleep in one bedroom. Two years of、Crazy. hard work and not knowing where they'd end up, they finally won their first music show award. Nice. Yet, What music show was that? In popularity, they were falsely accused of sajeki. What's that? When a company buys their own artist albums to boost sales for the charts,、oh. that's because people couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, ignoring the fact that a small company wouldn't have the resources to pull off such a scam.、Oh. These were just a few of their hardships and struggles. I created a separate video highlighting their past hardships. Okay. I'll link that in my description box. Yeah, we're gonna watch that. We're gonna watch that someday.、Box. Throughout the years, BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. They grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down. BTS has become an industry anomaly. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year, and、Yeesh. they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. The biggest kicker? Well, BTS did this without a single bundle. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album's sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every T-shirt sale or、right. ticket sold for their concert. Right.、Okay. These sales would count towards charting numbers and become an industry-wide tactic in the U.S.、Ah. to help boost sales figures and, in effect, climb up the Billboard charts. Ah, what? I didn't know that. That's interesting. That is ah. Okay, okay, okay. So they did it without that. In a 2019、Amazing. New York Times article, they said about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year were sold as part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Without the help of bundles, that's not genuine, is it? And driven by the power of armies alone, BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record. And the Beatles' 22-year record. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! They beat Michael Jackson. Oh, they beat Michael Jackson in what? Cause I'm gonna zoom in. I'm just joking.、Uh, Michael Jackson's 36-year record as first foreigner artist to top number. Num- is that number ten or number one? Is that ten or one? That's very awkward. Cause it's like. Is that number one Oricon or ten Recon? <laughs> I, 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 I'm, wait, is that ten or one? I'm confused. All right, so I guess it's number one, right? So the Beatles' twenty-year record, the fastest group with the most number one albums. 
Adele's five-year record with the most number ones on iTunes, Michael Jackson, first foreigner to, I guess I would just say number one, right? To top number one, or re- as in on Recon, I, I guess there was a spelling mistake here. Um, Celine Dion's 24-year record with 1 million pre-orders in Japan. You know what? If you beat Michael Jackson in anything, then, uh, yeah, hats off to you. Has, if you beat Michael Jackson in anything, then, uh, yeah, because in my head, Michael Jackson is the greatest artist ever to, to ever exist. <laughs> so if you beat him in something, then, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, all right. Bangtan Sonia Dang. I just, I have to give it to you. I have to give it to you. Yep, hats off. 36 year record and the Beatles' 22-year record. While these musical wow. acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. Oh. At the same time, it's a bit pressure. Oops. It's a great honor. While these musical acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. You know what? Respect to Sugar for that because that's very tough, isn't it? Because the, the be, giving a name of an already pre-existing, you know, entity, kind of puts you in the shadows of that, isn't it? I mean, I mean, I understand why people would say that, right? Oh, you're the Beatles of of this, or oh, you're a Michael Jackson of this. Like, I understand that, like, because it's that kind of level of respect and and, and great f greatness that it would measure you to. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, but we are BTS though. We're separate. <laughs> I love that. Three. The members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool for School, in 2013, to their most recent Map of the Soul 7, all seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. All of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. All of them? Oh, and okay. as of August 2020, J-Hope, Suga, and RM were all promoted to full members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on SoundCloud <laughs> as gifts to their fans. Much for free. of the work touches on subjects like mental health. So you guys mentioned about August August D that you guys wanted me to check out. So all of those were part of it. So I'll, I'll be checking all of these out, man. Health, youth and female empowerment child abuse, cyberbullying, self-love and development, and socioeconomic injustices. Much of their work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their mm. latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. BTS oh, is not afraid to use- They touched Carl Jung? They touched the mindset of Carl Jung? Bro, okay, okay, all right. Okay, maybe I need to. Hey, Bang Tang Song and I need to look at you guys seriously. I mean, I already do, but like, if you touch Kyle Young, Carl Young's mindset, if you tap into that mindset, then you know, respect. Like, hey, okay. Use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices and issues, taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. BTS are also as charitable as they are talented. Throughout the years, members have been donating individually and as nice. a group. BTS rarely publicize donations, so fans often Good. find out about them if media organizations uncover the details. Good. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their mm. Love Myself campaign. Mm. They partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign aimed at protecting children 
and teenagers from around the world. Nice. With the hope wow. of making the world a better place through music. Yes. BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 wow. million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series along with six other fundraising initiatives, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies worldwide. On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign at the United Nations General Assembly. On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat climate change. Oh my days. On this dude, the, yeah, yeah, they, they're too powerful. On June 3rd, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter. A few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. When armies got wind of the news, they matched their one million dollar donation in one day. Now, the that's awesome. Now, I'm gonna say something which I said in the previous um, introduction video, which I don't think you guys understood what I meant when I when I when I mentioned that. So, in that video, that video was talking about their donations, just like this one. Where, but the the video only highlighted on the BLM donation, and then just quickly moved on to the next thing. It's like, wait, wait, hold on. Why just BLM? Because the thing is, um, there are so many things that they also do, right? Are, I'm sure there are so many do donations that they do, which are, you know, very prominent. So this video has obviously extensively described that. But at the same time, I have my own reservations and views about BLM anyway, because um, it turns out that there are so many there's so much information about that organization that were not disclosed to a lot of people, a lot of kind-hearted people like Bank Tang Soyeon Dang and the BTS Army, right? A lot of kind-hearted, kind-hearted people donated to, to that organization, and it turns out that there's there's so many dodgy things about that organization. So that is what I was questioning to say. Why did they just highlight that organization? Because the organization is a dodgy organization. It's not. It, it's there. There's there is little to no credibility with that organization even though what they stand for i do understand what they stand for i'm just talking about the organization not what the organization stands for those are two different things because apparently the the organization had 90 million dollars donated to them overall and then none of those 90 90 million dollars can be accounted for what they were used for there was no re record of it being used to profit anyone's life so that was my question right so that was my question in that previous video to say why is such a questionable organization? Why was that the only highlight of, of you see what I mean? You, 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 do you understand what I was, what I was pushing? I was like, hmm, why is that? Because obviously they've done obviously greater stuff like doing that stuff with UNICEF and all of that. And that does nothing. That's, this has nothing to do with Bank Tang Song Dang. This has, I'm just talking about the organization, right? That's what I'm talking about. So that's just my opinion, right? So it wasn't it wasn't about the donation it was just about why did they just highlight that as though it's like yeah but they've done something more <laughs> talk about those things right anyway you know that's just me these are just a couple of their acts of charity with their socially conscious music bts created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from different national and the racial army bones. identities this led to the emergence of bilingual army volunteers who translated BTS Korean lyrics and videos in their language almost real time, making the content immediately available to non-Korean speakers. We may all speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world wow. with different ethnicities, background, gender, wow, and age. Wow, 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 wow. BTS has also expressed their love and respect for ARMY countless of times, such as always mentioning them first during speeches, Ami! responding to fans on their social <laughs> media app Weverse, showing their appreciation for ARMY projects, Halting rehearsals for the ah, Muslim that was JK, wasn't it? prayers in Saudi Arabia. The youngest member, Jungkook, even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Wow. Together with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. I'm not 
그냥 저희를 보는 분들이 행복하고 웃을 수 있다면 그걸로 팬이란 게 진짜 뭘까 막 이런 생각을 가끔 많이 하거든요 결국 그 사람들 때문에 저희가 무대에 서는 거라서 그 봐주는 사람들을 위해서 노래를 하고 무대를 하는 거기 때문에 결국 우리는 그 사람들한테 진짜 감사해야 돼. 이제맨 무대 하나 하나 하나에 최선을 다 해야 돼. 간단하게 얘기해서는 가수를 하고 있는 어떤 제일 중요한 이유인 것 같아요. 저는 뭐 방송 활동도 물론 쉽지 않지만 진짜 콘서트는 그냥 제가 JK has a deeper voice than I anticipated he would have. I thought, I mean. If JK has this deep voice, then I want to hear how V sounds when he is talking, because he usually sings low, right? I want to hear how V sounds when he is talking, because he usually sings low, right? I want to hear how V sounds when he is talking, because he usually sings low, right? I want to hear how V sounds when he is talking, 이 일을 사랑하고 너무 좋아하는 게 저에게 큰 영향을 주는 것 같아요. 왜냐하면 이 일을 하기 싫고 실증이 나고 하면은 무대 위에서도 나타나기 때문에 이 일을 굉장히 사랑하기 때문에 내가 무대 위에서 퍼포먼스를 할수 있고 노래를 할수 있는 것 같아요. 계속 와서 응원해 주는 모습 그리고 그렇게 저희를 진심으로 좋아해 주는 그런 표정들 힘들 때 그런 표정들이 저에게 더 힘을 주어, 주는 것 같아서 여러분을 저희를 알아봐 주신 여러분들이라면 여러분의 꿈 꿈이 아니더라도 여러분의 삶 여러분의 인생에 언젠가 저희의 존재가 저희의 음악이 저희의 무대가 저희의 사진 영상이 여러분한테 아주 조금이라도 아픔이 100이라면 그 100을 99, 98, 97로 만들어 줄수 있다면 그걸로 저희의 존재의 가치는 충분합니다 정말 사랑합니다 와우 Hey yo, RM, R, R, A, hey. RM, bro. This dude has a way with words. This dude has a way with words, man. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. He has a really good way with words. Their love for Army has also helped them decide on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. So they don't need people it. <laughs> often discredit BTS's talent. They don't need it. They don't need the money. Likening their popularity to superficial aspects that come with the image of a boy band. It is the ah. development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their I fandom see. the size and reach that it has become. I Powerful. hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but Artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For right. a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. All right. Woo! Okay. Shout out to Bang Tang So You Dung. Listen. See. I'm gonna say one thing and then I'm gonna go because I'm hungry and my tummy is speaking in Korean right now. Um, I understand how protective a group can be over the artists they love so much, especially an artist such as Bang Tan Soyeon Dan that has such influence on people and the amount of good that they've done, I've done, they've done to people. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, and I understand why there are so many comments about other people saying that. Oh, right. I mean, I mean, you know, the 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 they they can, they can it can become a toxic environment because of such protectiveness that they have, and I also understand that as well. So, I I, I guess I guess the only thing that I have to say is the is well two things. One thing is first of all. They the the the, the, B, the Bangtan Soyeondong army the BTS army, I lo I just love saying the name Bangtan Soyeondong. <laughs> I just love saying it. If I'm if I'm butchering it, let me know. The BTS army, um, have no problem doing doing anything to protect them. Even if it's even if it, even if it's a slight 
criticism against them or anything like that i do understand that because of how much they have been through and all of that and like i said we're going to watch out that we're going to watch the 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 prejudice against them that video we're going to watch it next time as well um i do understand that but at the same time i don't at the same time um there is the first impression that that as a group as a group you give to people right and as much as as much as amazing that bts might be the impression that the fan base can give to people can put them off said artist right so that is also why maybe a lot of people might have a negative view of bts as a whole because of the fan base right so it's a catch-22 situation where um people especially if people have boundaries like myself i do have boundaries like i always say i give what i get so i reflect what i get so if i get people that are rude to me um then i will not be rude back to them but i will just give i'll, I'll just be indifferent to that or my commitment to everything will reduce drastically because of that kind of feedback right but it's because i do not actively go out to disrespect any artist because i know what it takes to be an artist it's fucking incredible it's just the mental work that alone that you have to go through is i don't know bonkers right so i do respect every artist that i come across so i don't intentionally disrespect artists that is why i always say i do my best to represent myself in the best way that i can especially when i'm reviewing artist music right um so i also just require the same not not the same like a little bit of respect back at me saying okay i understand you put in time effort to review this and all of that and obviously yeah i'm not really doing anything amazing i'm just reviewing the music it's not really anything great right so i understand my place in this hierarchy i understand um at the same time we are all people um i don't disrespect the artist so i would also not expect to be disrespected so i think that is what a lot of people also expect when they are reviewing music but also there is that situation where people who review their music will also disrespect the artist but then that would also cause the bts army you guys to jump in there and then attack him and ah i understand that <laughs> oh my god i understand that so right now i'm talking with the bts army right now and um so so far you guys have been an amazing community um and and you've, sh you sh you've shown me the love that bts has shown you guys and you guys spread the love wherever you go but i also do understand how protective you can become of them i do understand i understand you shout out to you guys love bts shout out to jimin and uh yeah that's about it <laughs> did i just label my bias no i didn't don't leave no 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 leave it leave it don't don't comment leave it don't don't talk about it don't talk about it i didn't say it. i didn't say it <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next reaction video love you guys stay tuned back to song you're done and we're out peace